Today is the 6th of January, 2016, and uh, it is just 7 o'clock in the morning, and there is traces of the dawn chorus going on. It's quite unusual because that doesn't normally come to but later on in the spring. Just see the little moon up there. Nice to hear the birds though. Oh no, could that be the uh, International Space Station? Too busy the astronaut. That could well be. Yeah. I believe he's going to do a space walk too. I want to spend a day there. That must be very exciting. Scary for him doing that. Anyway, it's also a big day here when uh, BT should be delivering the equipment for fiber optic connection to broadband. Something I've been dreaming about for years. I hope to make a little video of that. Not too sure what's involved. I believe if it's basically just a router which I've got to connect up in place of our existing one. I hope that procedure is a lot simpler than it used to be. Each time I've had to change a router it's been easier, but uh, I know way, way back changing a router was a right pig of a job. Anyway, this is the way the 6th of January starts. As you see it's about 6 degrees centigrade. Not at all bad for winter. <laughs> and this morning it's not raining. It's a good start for the day. We've got a couple of ornamental birds here in the garage wall. Just as I stopped recording, I thought I heard a the sound of a fluttering wings in our little floating uh, bird shelter there. Often looked in there and seen roppings and bits of uh, nest material. We might well have a resident. Never filmed when I've seen one flying in or out. Anyway, that's just one of the exciting things <laughs> happening so far today. There's a letter from BT. They say I've got to connect it all up and they can check to see if it's working okay. So that will be my activity hopefully later today. Ah, an email has just come in this morning. Quarter to ten. So this is very promising. Okay. I say that's very good the way they let you know about things. Just hope it all works out according to plan. If anyone's recently gone to Crookham Station on the West Somerset Railway, they wouldn't recognise it <laughs> in this earlier scene where the trees are still there. Because this scene now is devoid of trees. I think in the process it's lost something. But anyway, the object of this is not to see a video of Crookham Station, but to see what's in this parcel which has just arrived. 
this. Does it claim? No, oh, it doesn't claim to be anything. But this should be the uh, this should be the router to take the place of our original one. Yeah. I don't know if it's going to look any different, but uh, I'll open the box and see. So it calls itself the BT Home Hub 5 and with it um, there's a little information sheet as to what to do with your O1 and what's, oh this is probably a bag to return your O1, okay tear here to look inside right, oh and there's all sorts of information there and uh, right here Information here, there's filters, leads, power supply, and a British connector, power, and the hub itself is probably under here. There's a hub. It looks very similar to what I've got. Alright. Right. Yeah, the only thing that you can notice straight away is this blue line across it. Okay. Back. That looks rather familiar too. Far button there. Right, well, the thing to do, oh, look at that uh, code word. That took a lot of setting in if you have to do it the wrong way. Anyway, here we are. That's what this is all about. So, that's my next task to uh, set this up. And part of the wrapping material is quite a de detailed procedure as to what you have to do. Alright, and that's it. So that's all there. So it's only four steps. Right, okay. Um, I have to go out now, but uh, when I return, I will do this. So this is where we start by switching off the old router. Well, oh, you've been a good router anyway. Gone. Well, they both are very similar at the back. This is the original one. Four, hub four. And this is the hub five, the new one. Right, I've used the new leads, uh, obviously from, from the power supply and from the phone socket. I just replaced my existing yellow ones as a feed out. And the instruction book simply says switch it on, like so. And the, press the button on the back to switch it on there as well. Right. And what's the result of that? Oh, there's a green line there first. Now what does it say? Wait a couple of minutes. Colour lights will flash. Yeah, now the green is now flashing. Steady blue light means your broadband is ready to use. Okay. But it doesn't. Right, well, gotta wait to see if that will turn blue. It's gone blue now. Right, so in theory, oh no, it's flashing orange. I'll let it settle down a bit longer yet. Right, it 
one to a solid yellow, another solid blue. Alright. Hopefully we've got to the stable state. Step three was only about if things didn't work correctly in two. Need to use a new device to get it. Not to be sure now you might have to do this. Is three is seven four or as well as four? Hmm, not sure. I think we'll turn on the computer and go from there. I'm right, not really sure what to do next, but if I, um, what, do I Google? Do I put in that, uh, I'm not sure. Um, wireless network SSS 1D. I'm not sure what, what you put in here. What does it say here again? Just open your device's web browser. Seeing this is Windows 10, let's open up Microsoft Edge. This is going to bring up. Let's bring up Sky News. Oh, a little bit surprised because it says I haven't got it there. Alright, let's just see if I can... Um, thought I had this anyway. Start to download. If it does load, if it's downloading, if it will download it, it's obviously connected to the internet. It's showing a certain percentage of it just working. Yeah. Oh, it's where it's installed. Okay, open. North Korea claims it's tested a hydrogen bomb. That's worrying. I thought they agreed not to not to do anything. We've given them food aid. A lot of these countries make agreements which they get absolutely no compunction if they break their agreement. Oh well, yeah, well anyway, let's not get bogged down by the, sn by the news. That seems to be working. What about, um, let's close that. Put out my email. Yeah, there's an email that I haven't seen this morning. Yeah, Jerry confirming it will be a BT Hub, Hub 5. Sure, sure enough it is. Yeah. 